I've been out here today clearing around these stunning black cohosh plants. Um, these plants are Simisifugor actea racemosa and they are going to get really tall, like six foot tall when the, their flowering racemes are in flower and have big massive leaves. So there's a whole patch of them here um, and there's another massive patch of black cohosh over there by a hawthorn hedgerow and um, I was just reflecting on a personal time um, working with these plants and um, that would have been two and a half years ago with the home birth of our baby Ivara and um, this plant was very much um, an assistant to me on that birth. Um, I remember uh, coming out here to the garden um, in labour and uh, actually feeling a little bit anxious because we'd had a false start the week before and being what's now considered a geriatric mom because um, I was about to turn 40 um, I was pretty much given three days to have the baby or else they were going to bring me in for induction um, which would have meant that I would have been denied uh, my home birth with Ivar so um, I was feeling really anxious um, and I had been offered a sweep at 38 weeks um, and a voluntary induction which I politely declined um, and so yeah I was at, I was at term I was at term at that moment and uh, yeah they pretty much wanted the baby out so I came out here and I felt the labor come on and I really wanted it to continue this time um, and so and not to feel anxious or stressed about it and I could see the black cohosh um, in flower like blowing in the wind it's so tall and beautiful and I thought that's it that I need to take black cohosh right now um, and felt so grateful in that moment to have um, an understanding and a connection to this plant and also that myself and Ross make medicines out of this plant It's the root of black co-wash that we use um, and um, we had tincture that Ross had made um, Beforehand a year or two before that so I started taking small amounts of the tincture and then there's another really stunning old aconite plant here that's monkswood and um, just in front of me here and um, it was also in flower and um, I was taking that issue, decided to take some of that homeopathically um, at the time just because of the anxiety that I was feeling in those moments um, and what I really wanted to achieve was I really wanted that the labour would continue, that the, it would strengthen the contractions and regulate the contractions so that's why I was using uh, black cohosh um, and it was so nice uh, so while I was out here hanging out with the black cohosh plants and the um, aconite plant as well um, Ross was uh, busy in getting all the pots on the boil, getting the birthing pool ready in the conservatory there and um, he he was getting the kids to bed, they were actually playing in the trees there, it was it was really beautiful, it was um, autumn equinox um, and it was a really hot sunny day I remember and um, it was so lovely um, by the time that our amazing doula Shelley from Mama Doula and our midwife Sandra arrived on the scene much later that evening and um, we had spent the whole, um, myself and Ross, the whole evening labouring together. The kids were asleep and um, in the birthing space Ross had created this beautiful altar, loads of candles, loads of the herbs that we use. I've been taking obviously my mugwort tea and my wood betony tea at that stage as well to help progress the labour and continue the labour and strengthen it. And um, yeah, he'd created this beautiful altar and he brought in um, black cohosh flowers and also aconite flowers which were also in flower at the time to be present for the birth and um, it was really magical and we had the lovely Burgle Scattles um, Baron Beats playing uh, to the birth uh, he actually recorded um, himself playing Baron and somehow amazingly managed to capture all those surges that happen to a woman um, throughout the final stages of birth there's ebbs and flows and the surges and he captured that in the Baron Beats so that was beating um, and it was really beautiful and um, it was incredibly empowering as a woman um, to feel like I could achieve the birth that I wanted um, and also um, rely on the assistance um, of these amazing plants and know how to use them and know when to call on um, them. So yeah it was incredibly empowering and every woman should feel that empowered through birth. Um, so yeah, black cohosh was one of those amazing plant alloys at that time and um, that and aconite and uh, yeah, really grateful to be able to connect with these plants, uh, to know how to make medicines from these plants and um, yeah, to be able to call on them um, at really important moments um, like childbirth.